You know that moment in sci-fi movies when the hero steps into a self-driving car and the future suddenly feels real? Well, grab your popcorn, because Elon Musk just turned that scene into a breaking news alert. Tesla's first public robo-taxis are officially hitting the streets in days, and the ripple effect is already sending shockwaves through Waymo's boardrooms, Zooks's factories, and your future Uber receipts. This is the opening shot in a trillion-dollar revolution where cars stop being things we own and start being robots that own the road. So who's actually winning the race to replace your Uber? Let's start. The autonomous vehicle revolution just got real. Tesla's robo-taxi service is officially launching June 22nd in Austin, Texas, and Elon Musk himself confirmed the news on X. Elon dropped the date in response to Owen Sparks' question, writing, tentatively, June 22nd. We are being super paranoid about safety, so the date could shift. That cautious but confident tone tells us two things. Tesla is ready, but they're not taking any chances. The initial fleet will consist of 10 to 20 Model Y vehicles operating in a limited zone for Tesla employees only. No steering wheel, no driver, just pure autonomy. Why Austin? It's Tesla's tech hub, home to Gigafactory Texas, where the company will eventually produce its dedicated cybercab, a futuristic two-seater robo-taxi designed from the ground up for autonomous rides. But for now, they're using modified Model Ys, and Elon made it clear these are standard production cars with no extra hardware. He emphasized, these are unmodified Tesla cars coming straight from the factory, meaning every Tesla coming out of our factories is capable of unsupervised self-driving. The big advantage? Scalability. Unlike other competitors like Waymo, which relies on hyper-detailed pre-mapped zones, Tesla's FSD is designed to work anywhere, though they're starting small for safety. Even so, Tesla's operational area in Austin is 13 times larger than Waymo's current coverage, spanning the entire metro region instead of just downtown. Now, let's talk price. While exact numbers aren't confirmed yet, Elon has previously hinted at a long-term goal of 20 cents per mile, a fraction of what competitors charge. Waymo's rides currently average $11 per mile, and even Uber or Lyft sit around $2 to $3 per mile. Even if Tesla starts higher, say $1 per mile, it's still a massive disruption. But it gets even better, autonomous deliveries. In the same X thread, Elon revealed that June 28th will mark the first time a Tesla drives itself from the factory directly to a customer's home. No human intervention. That's not just a cool demo. It's proof that Tesla's FSD isn't only for robo-taxis. It's a universal system. To top it off, Tesla's new CyberCab robo-taxi will operate entirely through the X app. Users can summon, pay for, and manage rides directly in X. No separate app needed. Elon Musk is merging transportation with social media by integrating the robo-taxi service into the platform you already use daily. This seamless integration gives Tesla a huge advantage, instant access to X's massive user base while competitors build standalone apps. Its smart mobility meets social connectivity. Your next ride could come from scrolling your feed. Behind the scenes, Tesla's been stress testing this for months. Their AI team posted on X about a supervised ride-hailing program for employees in Austin and San Francisco, logging 1,500-plus trips and 15,000-plus miles to refine the software. Elon also teased a next-gen FSD version in development with 4x more parameters, calling it ready for deploy in a few months. So, what does this all mean? Tesla isn't just dipping a toe into autonomy, they're going all in. Between the robo-taxi launch, the cybercab coming in 2026, and cars delivering themselves, this is the closest thing to a sci-fi future we've seen. And if the pricing holds, Uber, Lyft, and Waymo should be very, very nervous. The countdown to June 22nd is on. Will Tesla pull it off? Stay tuned. While Tesla makes headlines with its upcoming robo-taxi launch, Alphabet's Waymo continues its own autonomous vehicle push, though not without significant hurdles. 
The company recently announced plans to return to New York City for testing in July, marking an ambitious expansion of its autonomous driving ambitions. However, there's a major catch that highlights the regulatory challenges facing the industry. New York state law currently prohibits the operation of vehicles without human drivers. This forces Waymo into a compromise position. They've applied for a permit to test vehicles with trained safety operators behind the wheel, meaning these won't be true autonomous demonstrations, but rather another data-gathering exercise. This NYC endeavor follows Waymo's established pattern of cautious incremental expansion. The company has been conducting mapping tests in the city since 2021, using manually driven vehicles to navigate New York's notoriously complex traffic patterns and challenging weather conditions. The current phase represents a small step forward, but still falls far short of the fully autonomous ride-hailing service Waymo operates in other markets. New York's dense urban environment, aggressive driving culture, and variable weather present perhaps the toughest real-world test yet for autonomous vehicle technology. While New York presents challenges, Waymo continues to find success in its established markets. The company recently expanded its service areas around San Francisco and Los Angeles, adding approximately 80 square miles of coverage. This brings their total operational area in California to 250 square miles, including new access to Silicon Valley locations like Palo Alto and the full length of Sunset Boulevard in LA. These expansions contributed to Waymo reaching a significant milestone. 10 million paid rides across its four US markets, San Francisco, Phoenix, Los Angeles, and recently added Austin, with the service now completing about 250,000 weekly rides. However, Questions remain about Waymo's long-term competitiveness. The company relies on modified Jaguar I-PACE SUVs packed with LiDAR sensors and other expensive hardware, with each vehicle estimated to cost around $150,000. This high per unit cost creates significant economic challenges, especially when compared to Tesla's projected $15,000 Cybercab. Waymo's current pricing reflects this, averaging about $11 per kilometer compared to Tesla's anticipated $2 per kilometer target. This cost differential could become a critical factor as the autonomous vehicle market matures and price competition intensifies. While Waymo and Tesla pursue different paths to autonomy, Amazon-owned Zoox is making perhaps the boldest bet of all with its purpose-built, steering-wheel-free robo-taxi. The company recently opened a massive 220,000-square-foot manufacturing facility in Hayward, California, with the capacity to produce more than 10,000 of its distinctive toaster-shaped autonomous vehicles annually. This marks a significant escalation in Zoox's plans to commercialize its vision for the future of transportation. Zoox's vehicle represents a radical departure from conventional automotive design. Without traditional controls like steering wheels or pedals, the symmetrical pod features four-wheel steering, bi-directional movement capabilities, and a sensor suite that provides 270 degrees of coverage on all four sides. The interior is designed around a face-to-face -face seating arrangement that transforms the vehicle into a mobile lounge space. This clean sheet approach allows Zux to optimize every aspect of the vehicle for autonomous ride hailing but it also introduces unique challenges. The most immediate concern is safety and operational flexibility. Unlike competitors who can fall back on human control when needed, Zoox's vehicles have no manual driving capability. If a vehicle encounters a situation it can't resolve autonomously, the only options are remote assistance or physical towing, neither ideal for maintaining service reliability at scale. This limitation has already caused real-world issues, leading to several high-profile incidents. In April alone, Zoox had to recall 258 vehicles for software updates following two accidents involving motorcyclists, prompting a NHTSA investigation. May saw two additional recalls after a collision in Las Vegas and a scooter incident. Despite these growing pains, Zoox maintains confidence in its approach. CEO Aicha Evans emphasizes that their vehicles meet all federal safety guidelines 
through self-certification, and the company is working closely with emergency responders to familiarize them with the unconventional design. Zoox has also benefited from recent Department of Transportation efforts to streamline the exemption process for vehicles without traditional controls. What makes Zoox particularly noteworthy is its status as the only U.S. company pursuing commercial deployment with a truly purpose-built robo-taxi from day one. While Tesla and Waymo have shown concepts for dedicated autonomous vehicles, both are currently using modified production cars for their services. Zoox's gamble is that by controlling both the vehicle design and autonomous system from the ground up, they can achieve better long-term results than competitors adapting existing platforms. The company's test fleet, currently operating in the Bay Area and Las Vegas, uses retrofitted Toyota Highlanders as development mules while the custom vehicles begin production. Zoox plans to transition these test vehicles to its new autonomous system and use its original Fremont facility for sensor configuration and software updates. With Amazon's backing and a clear focus on high-volume robo-taxi production, Zoox represents perhaps the purest realization of the autonomous mobility as a service vision, if they can overcome the substantial technical and operational hurdles that come with such an unconventional approach. End of the day, the battle for autonomous dominance comes down to these three approaches. Tesla bets everything on vision-based FSD, no expensive LiDAR, just scalable software that could make their $15,000 Cybercab unstoppable if it works. Waymo plays it safe with LiDAR precision, but that $150,000 per vehicle price tag and snail-paced expansion could sink them. Then there's Zoox, all in on a radical steering wheel free design that could redefine urban mobility if regulators and real world chaos don't break it first. Here's the bottom line. If Tesla's gamble pays off, they'll undercut everyone on price while scaling faster than competitors can map new cities. Legacy automakers? They're not even in this conversation yet. So who's getting your money? The scalable disruptor, the cautious leader, or the bold innovator? Drop your predictions below, and don't miss Tesla's big Austin launch June 22nd. Will this be the Model T moment for autonomous vehicles? Hit like, subscribe, and let's find out together. The future's coming, and it drives itself.